If we have a function f of t, and if in this function we replace t with negative t, and we get exactly the same function, then this function is even. That is, if f of negative t equals f of t, then this function is even. But if in this function we replace t with negative t, and we get negative f of t, then the function is odd. Out of all six trigonometric functions, cosine and secant are even, but sine, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent are odd. Let's use this unit circle to see why cosine and secant are even and the rest of the functions are odd. We know that if from the positive x-axis we move into a counterclockwise direction, then t will be positive. For example, let t have the value of pi over 6. t is a real number and it also represents the measure of this angle in radians. For pi over 6, the corresponding point on the unit circle has the coordinates square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. Notice that for this point, both x and y are positive. Now, if from the positive x-axis we move into a clockwise direction, then we will have a negative angle. So, if in the positive direction we have t and it is pi over 6, then in the negative direction we will have negative t and it will be negative pi over 6. Then the corresponding point will have the coordinates square root of 3 over 2 and negative one half. Then notice that here x is positive and y is negative. Now we know that by definition sine of t equals y. Then sine of pi over 6 is one half. Recall that on any point on the unit circle the first coordinate represents cosine and the second coordinate represents sine. So sine of pi over 6 equals 1 half. Now in place of this t, let's have negative t, which is negative pi over 6. Then we will have sine of negative pi over 6 equals negative 1 half. So what we did in this sine function, we replaced t with negative t. If these values would be the same, then this function would be even. But if these values are opposite of each other's, then this function is odd. So then, sine is an odd function. Now, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and by definition, cosecant of t is 1 over y. Then, cosecant of pi over 6 will be equal to 2, because this is the reciprocal of 1 half. However, cosecant of negative pi over 6 will be negative 2. Again, when we replace t with negative t, we get opposite values. Then we will say that cosecant is also an odd function. Now let's talk about the cosine function. Cosine, by definition, is equal to x. Then cosine of pi over 6 equals square root of 3 over 2. Now if we replace t with negative pi over 6, we also get square root of 3 over 2. So, when t was replaced with negative t, the value of the function did not change. This makes this function even. Again, we can see this from the unit circle that for both these angles, we have the same value of x, but opposite values for y. Now, secant, by definition, is 1 over x. Then, secant of pi over 6 will be 2 over square root of 3. So we are just taking this fraction and we flip it. And secant 
of negative pi over 6 is also 2 over square root of 3. So again, here, when we change the value of t with negative t, the value of the function does not change. Then this function is even. Now, let's talk about tangent and cotangent. By definition, tangent of t equals y over x. Then tangent of pi over 6 is equal to 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2. After cancelling 2 and 2, we get 1 over square root of 3. Now, let's find tangent of negative pi over 6. Here, y is negative 1 half and x is square root of 3 over 2. Then, because we divide negative by positive, the result will be negative, and that will be negative 1 over square root of 3. So, as you see here, when we change t with negative t, we get the negative of the value above. Then we can say that tangent is an odd function. Now, the last function we will discuss will be cotangent of t. By definition, this is x over y. Then cotangent of pi over 6 equals square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Then we cancel 2 and 2 and we get square root of 3. Now let's find cotangent of negative pi over 6. Here, x is still positive, square root of 3 over 2, however, y is negative 1 half. And positive divided by negative will give us negative square root of 3. So then, when t is replaced with negative t, we get the opposite of the value above. Then this function is odd. So then, out of all these six functions, only cosine and secant stay the same as t is replaced with negative t. Then we can say that only these two functions are even. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.